Republicans know that America is the greatest force for peace and justice in the history of our world. But these left-wing ideologues see our nation as a force of evil, the way they speak so badly of our country. They want to demolish our Constitution, weaken our military, eliminate the values that built this magnificent country. You have to look at some of their recent comments, which are never talked about. When you see the four Congresswomen, oh, isn't that lovely? Omar has a history of launching vicious anti-Semitic screeds. And Talib also used the F word to describe the presidency and your president. That's not nice, even for me. She was describing the President of the United States and the presidency with the big, fat, vicious, the way she said it, vicious F-word. That's not somebody that loves our country. But Cortez, somebody said, that's not her name. It's they said, that's not her name, sir. I said, no, no. I don't have time to go with three different names. We'll call her Cortez. Too much time. Takes too much time. So Cortez also, she said, essentially, Nazis are running concentration camps. And when Mike Pence went down just a few days ago with members of Congress and the media, and you looked at those so-called horrible concentration camps, they said, wow, these places are clean. Wow, they have air conditioning. They have water. And you know, to be honest, it's not. So Representative Ayanna Presley, is she related in any way to Elvis? I don't know. Who knows? You never know. She thinks that people with the same skin color all need to think the same. She said, we don't need any more brown faces that don't want to be brown voices. We don't need black faces that don't want to be a black voice. And just this week, can you imagine if I said that? It would be over, right? It would be over. It would be over. So these Congresswomen, their comments are helping to fuel the rise of a dangerous, militant hard left. But that's okay, because we're going to win this election like nobody's ever seen before. And tonight, I have a suggestion for the hate-filled extremists who are constantly trying to tear our country down. They never have anything good to say. That's why I say, hey, if they don't like it, let them leave. Let them leave. Let them leave. They're always telling us how to run it, how to do this, how to do that. You know what? If they don't love it, tell them to leave it. Huh? I don't know. And now watch, I'll go back tonight. Oh, sir, that was so controversial. Sir. No, I'm just saying it's their choice. They can come back when they want. But you know, they don't love our country. I think in some cases they hate our country. And they're so angry. Even yesterday, they went on the stage. I said, let me watch this. And the anger, they were trying to be nice, but it's hard. It's hard for them to do that. The choice for every American has never been more clear. That's true. The Democrat agenda is anti-worker, anti-jobs, anti-citizen, anti-family, anti and anti-common sense.